Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first session of the Virtual Sourcing Showroom. Today, we'll be featuring a different curated selection of emerging brands from Asia each time. I'm Junius. And I'm Rebecca. And today, we'll be taking you through a guided tour of some of our favorite flavors. I personally love sour and spicy things with a bit of savory and balance with sweet. Bitter, not so much, but if it means it's something healthy, then I'm always down to try. Absolutely. We are very excited to be able to showcase some of our favorite brands that we've been working on with here at Tristana with you today. Uh, we've got a wide variety of things ranging from snacks to noodles to teas uh, and some things in between as well to be able to share with you. Um, as I mentioned, I'm Rebecca. And my taste profile is definitely on the sweeter side. I love anything chocolate and sugar uh, and I also love things that are sour as well. I'm not great with spicy, so today's gonna to be a bit of an adventure for us both. <laughs> well, we have 15 exclusive sample sets worth $53. And for those of you that already have these products, we encourage you to try along with us. This is going to be a very interactive process. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask in the chat. Send it through that Q&A functionality, and we're happy to address those as we go along. Yep. And one thing I do want to mention for all of you guys to take advantage of as soon as possible is you do enjoy a 10% discount off of your first order here with us at Tristana. So please follow along with us at wholesale.tristana.com. We have all of our products that we're showcasing here in the description below as well. So you can follow along with the product details on Tristana's website as well as take a look at some of the other products that we just don't have time to showcase today. Uh, we do have a wider selection available for you all on Tristana, so see you there. Well, I don't know about you, Rebecca, but I'm excited to explore some of China's most iconic F&B brands. We're going to highlight what makes them so delicious and so popular with consumers, so you can bring them to your stores and start seeing them fly off your shelves. All right, let's start with our very first brand here that is already in front of us. This is the Chen Changying brand, um, which is, uh, or we also call it uh, a mahua, which is a fried to to twist. So you can take a look at them. We've got them out here uh, for you to take a look at uh, already. So these are our best sellers across the board, and they're also massively, massively popular with our staff here in Tristana as well. Uh, these goods are uh, fast moving in store and many of our customers have already had seen multiple restocks. Uh, they just kind of fly off the shelves as Junius was talking about pre previously. Yeah, and th just a bit of history. This is one of the most beloved and iconic snack brands, childhood uh, snacks in all of Chongqing, the region in China from where they, they come. And what's great about them is that the, the family, uh, Chen Changyi, he, he and his wife, a couple, they actually started the 1990s making these mahuas, right? And they became known as the Chen Mahua. They weren't the first, but they are the best to do it. They're known very much for their quality, right? Each one of these goes through six rounds of refinement before getting to that ideal mahua twisted dough shape, right? And you can see the packaging really is well formed. It's, it's a great aesthetic. It's really uh, quite, quite iconic. You, you can recognize this from a distance. So people will know that when this is in stock, this is exactly what they'll be looking for. They are the only local brand also to have won the title of Chongqing's intangible cultural heritage. Food is not just about taste, it's about history. And Chen Changying, uh, Chen Ma, uh, Ma Hua's are part of this very rich food history from Chongqing. All right, let's stop talking and open it up. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Sound, sounds it. great. All so, right, so we have three flavors, right, Rebecca? And Yep, and so I've got here the barbecue flavor. Uh, yes. Uh, which I do have to admit, and you can see that these are double packed just to be able to uh, capture the freshness. So mm. one thing also about this particular uh, brand of snacks is that they are fresh made. And as a result of that, the shelf life is six months for one of these packets. 
And at Tristana, we do guarantee that when you purchase from us, the products that you get will have at least three months of shelf life left so that you, are, you can be sure that you are selling only the freshest products to your customers. Uh, so yes, this is uh, the barbecue flavor. And I think you've got one of the yep. other flavors. Got tomato here. And that, as we all know, having that guarantee on shelf life is really important because once you start buying these, right, you never know when that snack attack is going to hit you and you want it to be fresh and delicious when you actually open them up. So I'm going to go ahead. You can hear Rebecca crunching that that delicious noise means that something tasty is happening inside. <laughs> Absolutely. So I think Junius has there the tomato flavor. Um, and one of the other flavors that come for this mahua is also the seaweed flavor. So we've got three great options for uh, all kinds of to taste profiles. Uh, but honestly, my favorite has to be the barbecue flavor, which is the one that I'm holding. Of course, all of the dough twists are super, super crunchy, super satisfying. Um, they're very addictive. They're a bit dangerous, actually. And when you open them, it's really hard to put them down again. I really like the sweet barbecue flavor that this particular one has. Mm. Um, what about the tomato flavor for you? Yeah, so the tomato flavor, what I love about this is the real tomato flavor comes through, right? But it's not too much. These are lightly seasoned, so you still get that great dough flavor. And again, the shape is incredible. The consistency of each one of these dough twists, right? There is, there is no real difference between each of them. So. We have a question from the audience. What is the dough twist made of? So these are made of flour and eggs, and they're lightly fried in a so so soybean oil. Right? So there's much less oil used than traditional fried goods. Yep, sorry. I'm still oh, chewing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, so delicious, we ended up eating them at the same we time. Get, we get a little <laughs> bit distracted, to be honest. Uh, these are a fantastic, fantastic uh, snack for us to have. Um, one other thing to mention about this particular brand, which Junius did explain a little bit about the history of, Tristana is the first authorized distributor of this brand, and we are introducing this brand to Southeast Asia. So for all of you retailers out there who are looking for a new, popular, uh, already domestically proven brand to bring to Southeast Asia, something new for your customers, highly recommend uh, this brand and the Mahua that, uh, products that they produce. And before we go to the next segment, Rebecca, I'm, I'm going to ask that I try some of yours because I do love the barbecue there you ones. Go. And then you can get a Glad tomato to one. These are just so popular in our office as well. Mm. Really terrific. As we both eat on screen. Okay. <laughs> one last thing to mention about these uh, mahua. Um, one of the things that we're able to offer you as Tristana is a lower minimum order quantity uh, to start with. And the reason that we order this and we think it's going to be great for you guys is that uh, that allows you to be able to sample a variety of SKUs. Uh, so if you're not sure whether something's going to sell well for your particular demographic, this is a really low risk, low cost way for you to be able to try a couple of different flavors, a couple of different options and see what really resonates with your customer base. So the MOQ for these particular mahua that we've been talking about here today is 30 units. So starting from 30 units, you'd be able to, uh, to procure these SKUs uh, for sale at your retail stores or on your retail shops online. All right. All yep. Right. So these are, we're just going to maybe continue munching yeah, these yeah. for a little bit um, so, as, we continue, as we keep. So the three flavors, again, barbecue, which is Rebecca's favorite and a big favorite within the office. Tomato, which has a great zest to it, a sweetness, right, but doesn't overpower the fried dough. And of course, seaweed, which is a classic flavor throughout China and many of the other Asian questions or countries. Yeah. So we have another question coming for the audience. Is it halal? Unfortunately, this is not halal, but it is vegetarian. Right? So not halal, but vegetarian. Absolutely. Uh, and the one flavor that we don't have in front of you today is seaweed. Uh, that, se that flavor is quite popular among, uh, among folks who really like kind of that uh, fish or ocean taste. Uh, it's a great option for, uh, for kind of the other, uh, to complement the barbecue and the tomato as well. All right. Wonderful. So let's just, continue. maybe I'll take a couple of these for yeah. the road because- and Remember, you know. MOQ, 30, just 30 units. Rebecca mentioned that it's important to have 
and try a variety and see how this, these terrific products are able to move uh, from, from your stores and with your customers. Terrific. Absolutely. Wow, I'm excited for this next product coming up here. One of the biggest icons in all of Chinese snacking. Oh yes, a brand that absolutely needs no introduction at all. This is Three Squirrels or Sanjie mm. Songshu. Um, it's a brand that has been wildly popular, has, has basically gone on fire in China and has been super, has been growing quickly since they, uh, since they started a couple of years ago. So one of the really interesting things about uh, Three Scrolls is that they actually are IPO listed on the Shenzhen wow. Index as of 2019, which is a remarkable amount of growth for a company that was founded after 2010. So there's, they're quite a young company and that just speaks to how popular these snacks really are. And what's really terrific is nuts for a snack. It's such a healthy alternative to some of some of the items that that uh, may be out there that are very easy and, and very sort of traditional. But not only are they healthy, but they're delicious, right? So often we have healthy snacks but don't have much flavor. These nuts from the variety, but also as you'll see with the peanuts, the additions where they are combining maybe sweet potato and a, a bit of covering with the peanuts really adds a nice dimension to the flavor and the variety for us as consumers so that we have something different. There's nothing worse than just eating the same thing day in and day out. You want something different. And the Three Squirrels brand really has just done a terrific job of not only quality, but variety. Yeah, so we've got four options uh, that we're going to try with you guys today. Uh, but if you go to Tristana, wholesale.tristana.com, you will see other varieties there. So if there are other brands and other SKUs that you're interested on, please do pop down over onto our website and you can take a look at some, op some other options. But just to showcase the ones that we've got in front of us, let's start on this side and kind of work our way down. So the first one that we've got is our, is our pistachios. And I've got to say, these are a fan favorite. So let me just open these up. Yep. The pistachios, right, are sourced directly from California. And California, near the ocean where these pistachios love the rich, fertile soil and a lot of sunlight. The Chinese name for pistachio, kai xin guo, is really uh, apropos because it has that shape where it's happy. Kai xin guo means a, a happy sort of nuts. And the, 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 once Rebecca kind of opens this up and you'll see the smiles that come upon our faces as we, we right, get into we these pistachios. So just Oops. looking at the, this nice kind of cream color of the pistachios. Kind of move out of the way here. Yeah. You'll see that they're they're whole, right? But they've been uh, roasted so that they are partially open, and you can just open them up so easily. It's it's really a very simple process, right? Nothing nothing too difficult. And you pop it in, and you get that crunch, that freshness, and that flavor from from pistachio. It has a bit of that saltiness, but then a bit of that sweetness. It's such a unique flavor right? and a really fresh, delicious pistachio. Not only is it a great snack on its own, but it's something that is wildly popular now because of all the different products that it gets put in from ice cream to pies and, and cakes. Right? It, it really is something that's grabbed the attention and the palates of people all across the world. Absolutely. And with Three Scrolls in general, actually, I, I think there's two things that I really, really love about this brand. The first is just take a look at this packaging. Uh, really beautifully done. A lot of kind of re resealable um, bags here to c basically maintain the, uh, the freshness. As you saw when I was pulling out for the pistachios, actually, this is double bagged. Again, to basically retain the freshness for the for the in the product internally, so that's something that I I feel is very very premium. It feels like a higher end, fresher, healthier snack to me, and I love that about Three Scrolls in particular. And the second thing that I really love about Three Scrolls is that it's not that they're masking the flavor of the pistachio, mm -hmm. right? It's actually the the processing and kind of the added, the, the way that they're kind of presenting the nut is really to enhance the actual flavor of the natural uh, product itself. It's not to mask it, it's not to change it, but to actually emphasize it, kind of make it the best that it is, so to speak, yeah. 
And again, just talking about how iconic the packaging is, it's so clear when this is sitting on a shelf or even just in a kitchen that this is the famous Three Squirrels brand. And that automatically, even before you start to eat it or even before you think about it, starts to attract you to it and remind you of that last great experience you had snacking with these pistachios or some of the other items that we're gonna take you through. So packaging really is important. It's the first thing you see. You see with your eyes first and that triggers that, that appetite and that craving for whatever snack it is that you end up choosing. All right, so while Junius opens up the next um, bag for us, let's talk a little bit about just how popular Three Squirrels is. So how popular is it? Just a couple of stats for you guys uh, uh, to understand, right? So the first is during 11-11 or during Singles Day, um, Three Squirrels sold RMB 100 million in, the, in less than 20 minutes. These things are flying off the shelf. Um, the second stat I want to share with you is that they sold, uh, they've sold 190 million units worldwide across 167 countries, which is a very, very good chunk of the majority of the world. Uh, and then the last one that I want to share with you is that this has actually been featured outside of China as well, with a very, very popular Korean drama called W2 Worlds, and Three Scrolls was part of that, uh, that drama as well. So quite a bit of, um, of popularity that this uh, brand has already been able to achieve in its short time. So the next item is the uh, cashews. And what was great is just peeling off the first layer came off so easily. You had these perforated edges, really easy access. And then this great nice foil seal and a great big picture of the cashew. You know exactly what you're getting. And you can also notice that there are some of the original kind of husk on top, right? Which adds a little bit of dimension of texture as well as flavor and health to the cashew. So go ahead. All right, thank I'll you. Give my partner here a couple. All as right. Well and as just on here. Take a look at the size Ooh. of these cashews. These are, <laughs> man. They're not kidding around when they're talking about the quality of the nuts that they've been able mm. to uh, acquire. So these cashews in particular come from Vietnam and Three mm. Squirrels has done a fantastic job sourcing across the Asia in order to find the best climate and geography for each of the products that they're using. So the pistachios mm. came from California um, and the, uh, the cashews come from Vietnam where there's basically that hot, sunny climate at high altitudes in order to avoid flooding. And that's what's really needed in order to get these magnificent, large uh, raw materials that they're able to use and uh, produce into these, uh, into these nets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and you can really taste and see the care with which these nuts have been curated and how these cashews have been prepared. When you bite into it, it still has that crispness, that crunchiness that you sometimes don't get because of the packaging or the sourcing. And just the freshness really gets locked in. And I really, really love this extra layer. It, it adds a bit of saltiness, adds a bit of that extra flavor and adds to a unique color and look to it. And again, I just, coming from the US where everything is a bit bigger, I, I'm super impressed by the size of these cashew nuts. It's, it's really, really terrific. Mm. Yep, and the entire process of harvesting from the drying of the nuts, uh, they are also then kept frozen for freshness uh, in order to get to the point here where we've got really high quality product for, um, for us to be able to show to our, our audiences and to our cons uh, consumers. So let's move right along into uh, the next one, which is actually peanuts. So this is our sweet potato flavored peanuts from Three Squirrels. And as you can see, this one has a really nice fun design at the top, uh, but let me just kind of open this up so that we can get into the products themselves. Um, this one, this particular packaging is a resealable kind mm. that's already built into the bag. And so you can kind of keep, uh, keep, the, keep the nuts fresh. So let me just go ahead and give Junius some. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Creating my little, my little reserve. I will have these uh, nuts for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> there <you> survive. Go. <laughs> All right, and look at this. Look at the color on this. It is this beautiful purple that comes from that sweet potato. I'm really excited. You can just kind of see on the packaging that 
inside is that peanut, but on the outside you have this nice layer uh, of sweet potato and it, it really gives that unique combination of flavor. So I'm just gonna pop one in here. Mm. How to describe this? Mm. The outside layer is crispy, a little airy, light, a really good complement to the, the kind of peanut on the inside, which really, that peanut flavor does really come through. Um, and then it's got that really nice kind of twist, right, with the sweet potato flavor. Uh, and so it's a bit different from kind of your run-of-the-mill peanuts. Yeah. And that aroma, the, you can really kind of taste and smell the aroma and the essence of that peanut uh, coming through. And what's really kind of cute too is these look like tiny little sweet potatoes. So I'm sure something with, with the kids, they'll just love eating this because it has that great appeal. Yeah, so you can take a look at, there's, there's kind of that nice edge and that purple color that Junius was talking about. Uh, and so there's, there's kind of your uh, sweet potato peanut that we've got on hand. All right, well, last we but go? certainly not least. It, Our this favorite. Is, this, is, this is not a nut, but it definitely is a crowd pleaser. Absolutely. So this is our, uh, the, the three, three squirrels dried uh, uh, strawberries. And these are, uh, I'm a bit biased, but these are by <laughs> far my favorite of the three squirrels line. Uh, they also, I should I'll put a plug in, they also have dried mango, which um, all of my uh, teammates will know I'm also quite enthusiastically uh, pleased about as well. Uh, but these dried strawberries, don't just take my word for it. Uh, these are wildly popular within our office as well with some of our staff members and is one of the things that we see has been selling quite quickly uh, with our customers as well. So not just me, uh, but very much a well-loved uh, product. So how these st strawberries are produced, they're actually slow roasted for over 30 hours. Then they're blasted with cool air to dry. Then they're packaged in these beautiful uh, classic three squirrels packaging, but it's resealable so you can lock in that flavor. After, if you just have one, which is very, very difficult to do, even if you just have one small snack, you can reseal it and have it later. Not only is this a great snack just on its own, but you can use it in very many ways, such as in yogurts, oatmeal, or you can even bake them into cakes. This is really great for use in, pantry, uh, in the, any pantry. Absolutely. So you can take a look at the size of the strawberries here uh, that we're working with. This is after they've been roasted and then blasted and dried. And you can also already see that these strawberries are not your baby strawberries. Uh, but I, what I love about them is that the texture is also, uh, how would you describe it? They're not soft, but they're a bit chewy. Uh, they've got quite a, quite a good uh, um, kind of uh, um, texture to them. And actually, it's a great contrast, I think, to the nuts, which are, of course, very crunchy. Uh, they've got kind of that, that nice flavor to them as well. Yeah, and you can combine them. And, and also, if you think about the traditional sort of candied fruit snacks, which are mostly sugar and just a tiny bit of flavor. This is so great to have an entire whole strawberry, right? You're really eating a whole fruit here. So from a health standpoint, as well as just lack of processing, this is such a better alternative to some of these more processed uh, fruit snacks. Yep. This brand, mm. holistically speaking, practically sells itself. I think we talked a little bit already about the stats that, um, that Three Scrolls already has. And added on top of that, Tristana is an authorized distributor of Three Squirrels in this region. And we have a wide range of nuts and dried fruits from this brand to be able to offer you all. Um, of course, this is just a subset. We are a bit limited by time, so we're not able to show you everything. But we do encourage you to go on to wholesale.tristana.com to check out the other products that we've got. Also, you can take a look at the screen um, that we've got up right now at the MOQs that we're able, the, or minimum order quantities that we're able to offer you all today. Um, again, this is so that you guys are able to try a couple of different uh, SKUs if you'd like and to see what's going to be popular with your customers. We make it super easy to, to really get in. So, again, so what's your favorite, Junius? Oh, uh, it's so hard to choose. I mean, they're so delicious, all of them. And I have a special place in my heart, of course, being from California for the pistachios, but also those strawberries. Uh, <laughs> Killer, Dangerously right? addictive. So good. Ooh. All right. Well, after snacking, there's always, always the most exciting part of any day, which is an actual meal, right? And uh, right now, there are some incredible aromas coming off 
of these wonderful uh, bai jia and a quan noodles. It right? suddenly smells so good in here, <laughs> so, <laughs> which is awesome. Looking at these, these are the, some of the top uh, broad noodle manufacturers in China over the last 20 years, right? And they specialize in instant foods, particularly noodles, and they have many of the terrific, iconic flavors from Sichuan. Right? So there's six factories worldwide, or nationwide, and there are GMP and ISO 14,000 certified. So you know that this is high quality stuff, right? Oftentimes, when you think about instant foods, instant noodles, there have been many questions, often even scandals, about the, the sourcing of this food. But rest assured, the quality of this is at the highest level. Right. Absolutely. And today we've got two different noodles to try, mm -hmm. uh, one of which is spicy and one of which is <laughs> not. And so we're going to have a bit of an adventure because my tolerance for spice is not that high. Uh, but these are super delicious, so I'm always happy to eat them. So just to introduce, on this side here, if Junius wants to hold up yep. the noodles um, and, the, um, and the bowl. So this is the Huasi beef noodles. Uh, this is an all-time favorite dish from Gui, uh, Guizhou province in, in China. Um, this is, um, you can take a look at the noodles. They're kind of a bit of a thicker texture than the other one that we're going to be talking about. And these are a little spicy. Yeah. And what I love about this, right, from the moment you, you look at the picture and you say, this is something I want to eat, but it doesn't stop there. Once you open up this noodle, the aromatics, the smell... Ooh of what you're about to eat already oh, yeah. hits you, right? So even before you get that first bite, that you're already hungry when you pick this, but by the time you get into preparing it, it's just going to add to it. And just take a look. Look how much comes with each package, right? We're talking about five flavor packets as well as noodles. And as Rebecca mentioned, you can see these are not fried noodles. These are fresh noodles that just need a little bit of hot water to prepare. And that's one of the best parts too, as I was making these the other night with my wife, you don't need to cook these right, in a pot or a pan. Just add water, dump that out, then add these flavor packets, right? The oils, the aromatics, uh, the, there's even vegetables in this, right? It, it really is a, a full meal in just this beautiful package. So. Yeah. I don't know about you, Rebecca, but I, I can't I can't hold back any longer. Let's let's, let's go ahead and try eating. this 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 first bite. Ooh, that that smell is so so good. So one of the things as Junius takes his first bite, one of the things that he told me, uh, Junius told me before, as a as a food connoisseur that he is, is that you can, uh, one of the ways that you might be able to judge instant noodles is how many flavor packets does it come with? <laughs> one two, maybe three, if you're lucky. These Baijia noodles, that one that you just saw, came with five flavor, noodle, flavor packets. So that's kind of speaking to the quality uh, and kind of the, the premium, uh, premiumness, I suppose, of the brand and the noodles themselves. So I snuck in my first bite, but I definitely recommend after smelling the bag, now these fresh hot noodles come up. You, you put it in and you can just already start to imagine and feel how delicious it's going to be. You see this beautiful, Ooh. spicy... Oh, Rebecca is... That's uh, spice! <laughs> <laughs> loving that. So and, good. Oh and God. what you see is that the, the noodles, they don't stick together, and they have this bounciness to them, this QQ texture that mm, mm. is really important. You don't want soggy noodles, right? You don't want overly oily noodles, but this is just that perfect balance transporting you straight to Chongqing, known so much for their spicy foods, right? Their iconic spicy flavors. And this broth, it's, it's got this richness to it mm, that really just warms your throat, warms your soul, honestly. I mean, this is, this is hitting something deep uh, for me. And just, I think we could spend uh, the rest of the show just Ooh. eating this, but <laughs> lights, <laughs> of a course, bit of a, uh, <laughs> lights a bit of a fire for me, but <laughs> to be honest, I'm not great with spice, but this is so tasty that I'm very happy to eat more and more of it anyway. So all things, all things said, um, I'm happy to go through the pain for this one. Um, you can also see, you know, we've been talking about how high quality um, and interesting these noodles are. Just take a look at what you can see in the noodles. 
as part of what comes with the packet. We added absolutely nothing extra in these bowls. Maybe easier to yeah. see in that one, actually. Yeah. We absol added absolutely nothing extra in these bowls, but you can see that there is vegetables, there's the chili flakes, there's a um, kind of dried scallions and other vegetables. It really is quite a bit that you're going to get from just this one packet of instant noodles. And maybe then we can kind of go on to the second, the, the milder flavored noodles, which may be a <laughs> but little- But still equally delicious, equally delicious. A little delicious. bit easier on my stomach, <laughs> which are these. So this is uh, the scallion, uh, scallion oil noodles or Shanghai scallion uh, oil dry noodles. And these are um, what we've got in the bowl here uh, up front for you so you guys can take a look at what these are. So it's a bit of a thinner noodle and these are a dry noodle as opposed to the soup noodle that uh, Junius, was, uh, Junius and I were trying earlier. Um, but they've really got this amazing scallion fragrance. It's a flavor that I feel like I grew up with, you know, as a kid, that scallion oil. Uh, most commonly, you see, maybe see it in like Shenzhen, uh, Bao, and, mm. you know, kind of those, those applications. And this is really an interesting baijia twist on that flavor into a new application, which is uh, this instant noodle uh, package. So let me just open this up. Yeah. And similar to the Huashi beef noodles, these are not fried either, right? Instant noodles don't have to be unhealthy noodles. And Baijia and A Kwan really have done a terrific job of capturing all the flavors of Guizhou and uh, Sichuan flavors, but without losing that healthiness and that freshness. Yeah, so let me just hold up what you get th into this noodle package. So you've got the noodles here that you can take a look and see. Um, and then you've also got uh, kind of the various oils and flavorings on the side here. Um, and then also, of course, your, also your package of, of uh, vegetables and other additives as well. So if you actually take a look, so I'm going to put these down and then show you guys the noodle bowl again. You can actually see scallions in this bowl. And again, we didn't mm. add anything to this. So there's, uh, there's quite a bit that you're already getting from this noodle uh, bag without really any other additives. But as Junius is going to tell you, he loves to experiment. There's a lot that you can do with this kind of a noodle dish as a base. Yeah, so as Rebecca mentioned, you don't need to add anything extra. But if you want to kick it up an extra notch, it's great to add a soft boiled egg. You could add your own fresh scallions. You could add other vegetables like bai cai and spinach to, to the noodles and really make it a, a, an even bigger meal than, than it already is. It's very satisfying, but of course, these pair so well. You could actually add your own beef to the beef noodle soup and really take it up to that next level. Mm. Rebecca <laughs> is starting and I'm jealous because I, I've been talking and haven't had my first bite yet. <laughs> mm. Oh, just that, that tongyo or that scallion fragrance really so comes good. through and you, you get that nice glossy glistening color or that, that sheen on it and it's just a really nice sort of bouncy noodle as you kind of bite in. Yep. So confession mm. time, actually for lunch today I ate a packet of these. Mm. Yes, we, <laughs> we did try these earlier and there was an entire packet that was consumed by Rebecca. <laughs> They're that um, good. They're that good. And here we are still eating them because absolutely. they're that good. All right. Well, both of these products that we've been talking about here today from, uh, from Baijia and Aquan, they are, but they've both had huge domestic success in China already. And it's a great opportunity to be one of the first customers and retailers here in Southeast Asia to be able to offer them to your consumers. I think we've already been able to tell you about how these are quite different from the typical maybe instant noodles that you're able to find at a retailer. Uh, we know that these are going to be wildly popular with customers. Uh, if you're interested, feel free to uh, check check out wholesale.tristana.com or contact one of our sales team members uh, to be able to um, to be able to get these in stock into your stores as soon as possible. Speaking speaking from my, my own experiences and my own preferences, I absolutely will go long distances or order <laughs> specifically from places that stock some of my favorite brands and some of these unique, distinct and memorable flavors of snacks and noodles. They're really isn't, um, 
they're, 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 we only have a limited number of meals, a finite number of meals and a finite number of snacks that we can consume and eat in this lifetime. Why spend it on things that aren't delicious and why spend that time, waste that, those calories on something that is not tasty and everything from the nuts to the, the, the strawberries to the noodles today, these are the things that anytime, any day, anywhere, I would be happy to, to have uh, as part of my, my balanced snacking or balanced meals. All right. And one other thing to mention is on the minimum order quantities, you did see them on screen uh, there as we were talking through. Yeah. So quite a good, flexible minimum order quantity for those of you who are interested in trying out the various SKUs. But let's move off of now that we've had that good meal mm. yes. and those very hearty noodles, let's move on to something to kind of cleanse our palate and let us be ready for the rest of the day. Sounds great. Well, first we have the Sanjiang Tartary Buckwheat, which is from the same family as the common buckwheat, uh, usually used in or commonly used in soba noodles and tea. So this has a lot of great nutrients, making it ideal for daily consumption. Uh, it's something that comes in this beautiful, beautiful packet, right? That has actually 14 of these sachets in each of the boxes and they have a great long shelf life of 18 months so not only are are they great for uh, instant consumption but they last a long time yep and i am an avid tea drinker actually myself and i love these teas in particular because since it is tartary buckwheat they are non-caffeinated so they are uh, in my opinion and for my body a bit of a healthier option uh, What's the, what Sanjiang, this uh, company recommends is that you have one in the morning and then one in the afternoon after a big meal to help kind of uh, get you ready for the rest of the day uh, and you know reset, I suppose, a bit of your body. So that's what we're gonna do today. And if you can take a look, this packaging is also fantastic. You can see it's quite animated. There's a bit of uh, kind of like an illustrator type of vibe to it. It's very, I think, uh, quite modern, I would say, uh, and just really attractive, eye-catching, and, and differentiated when you talk about putting it on shelves. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. And on the other side are instructions, right? It tells you exactly uh, how much water to use and how long to sort of boil them or steep them to, to get that maximum flavor. So inside each of these sachets, you have tartary, buckwheat, jujube, and black wolfberries. All very healthy ingredients, and they really come together for a, a wonderful, just mix and melange of flavors. So looking at this sachet, and this is very high quality, right? In terms of uh, the, the nice netting that you see here, as well as these whole ingredients are directly inside. As I take, take, take a whiff of the aroma coming out of here, I just, I'm super excited. So I'm just going to dip it in because I, I really can't wait. Yeah, these are fantastic. You can already see kind of the pieces that are already mm. in the tea bag. And as you put them into the water, actually, oh, as wow. it hits the water, you can already smell the beautiful flavor coming off of them. And look at that color. Oh my goodness, this, this beautiful sort of lavender, deep lavender color that is coming off of these natural ingredients. And the aroma is just oh, bit, wonderful. Bit earthy, a bit nutty. Uh, mm. Very much, um, you know, kind of something that makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my body. Yeah. And I think that's really what you want uh, after, uh, you know, a heavy meal or when you're getting ready to start your day. Um, you know, it's really something that you can kind of drink throughout the day, any time of the day, morning, evening, afternoon, etc. What, what I love also about this is that it's fully decaffeinated, right? I am not a big caffeine drinker. So having this is a way to get that tea flavor and that warmth within my, my throat and in my body uh, while we're sitting in this kind of air conditioned room to help balance that out. So we have a question from the audience. Uh, where does uh, Sanjiang get their tartary buckwheat? So this is actually sourced from farms in the southwest of China. There's a high terrain with a cold climate and a strong amount of sunlight, which makes for the perfect combination these for these natural ingredients to thrive and then when they package them up in this great little sachet 
it, it really unlocks not just the beauty of the colors, but of course the, the deepness, the richness of the flavors in the drink. Absolutely. And I gotta say, after the slightly spicy noodles that we previously had, these are doing a wonderful job of just kind of cooling down my mouth uh, and making, uh, ma putting the fire out, so to speak. Um, fantastic thing about this particular brand is also they have two other flavors on offer as well. So we've got this one, which is the uh, Jujube and Black Wolfberry. Uh, there's actually two other flavors that are also available on wholesale.tristana.com. One is apples and vegetables, and the other one is uh, red bean. And both uh, those flavors are wonderful as well. I've tried all three. I love all three. Um, and, you know, highly recommend that these are uh, these two, all of our friends and family as well. And the minimum order quantity for these uh, Sanjiang Tartary Buckwheat teas is 20 units, right? So very, very reasonable. Uh, and as you can see, just a great color from the packaging all the way down through the actual drink. Yeah, absolutely. That, that beautiful purple color, right? Shall we try the next offering? This is, uh, this, is, this is one of your favorites. This so is let definitely... You, let you talk through this one. <laughs> Genius knows that uh, one, of, one of my weak spots is chrysanthemum tea. So this is from uh, a, um, a, a supplier in China called Yangju. So Ju as in uh, Ju Hua Cha or chrysanthemum in Chinese. So this chrysanthemum tea, as you can already see, it's, a, it's an organic chrysanthemum tea. They're harvesting fresh chrysanthemum flowers and drying them and putting in these into your sachets for you to be able to try at home. Uh, these are wonderful, um, wonderful healthy alternatives uh, to caffeinated or other kind of teas uh, if you would like to do so. And uh, in traditional Chinese medicine, actually, uh, chrysanthemum tea is believed to clear heat or excess yang uh, energy from your liver. Helps to calm the nerves, helps to regulate the stress hormones. I think all of us could use a little bit of those things in our lives these days. Uh, so really kind of uh, very appropriate, I suppose, for the times. So let's oh. go ahead and open this up. Sounds good. And, and this tea is certified organic, and it has a shelf life of 18 months as well. So something that's really long lasting, healthy, uh, and really comes from a, a nice trusted source. Yeah, you can take a look as you open it up. Here's about what it looks like, and there are 15 individual sachets inside for us to be able to try. And let me just uh, take one and hand it over, hand one over to Junius as well, oh, so he can take, yeah. take one as well. But let me just open up this sachet so that you guys can take a look at what's inside. So chrysanthemum tea, uh, you know, with the flowers, I've seen a variety of different kinds. But one of the things that I really love about this brand in particular is that they are offering actually whole chrysanthemum blossoms. So if I were to um, kind of take some of these out and you can take a look. Um, these are whole flowers that you're getting um, in the tea bag itself, in the sachet itself that you're going to be, uh, you know, making your tea with. So this is again, one of these things where uh, it's very much a high quality whole product. Uh, it's organic as we mentioned. And so definitely something that is, again, makes you feel that you're doing something good for your body. Yeah. And when we talk about something eye-catching, something unique, something memorable, just these packets with the drawstring and having the whole chrysanthemum, you, you just want to pick it up and, and take a look at it and examine it. And then once you do, that, that strong fragrance mm. of chrysanthemums hits you and it, it really leads to that association of how terrific and how tasty this is about to be. So I'm gonna drop mine in. Yeah, actually, just smelling it makes me feel calmer. I think that's you know one of those things about this this tea that I really have this association of you know my mother uh, making me chrysanthemum tea when I was younger as just something you know a healthy drink to have. And actually, my mother when she would make chrysanthemum tea, she would actually put in uh, rock sugar. Mm. I think that's like a quite common thing is to help sweeten, help enhance the flavor of the flowers as you put in rock sugar. Um, but actually this particular brand, mm. uh, the flavor of the chrysanthemums comes out so clearly that I think actually you don't need the rock sugar. You could just drink it this way. Now it does have that subtle sweetness to it. And it's just really like Rebecca said, if you've had this as a child or if you've had this growing up, it really does take you back. and. When we think about the therapeutic effects, helping with stress and helping to calm some of those nerves, really being teleported, transported back to those simpler times really is quite powerful. And I know it sounds like a lot for a drink, but 
just between the aesthetics, the beauty of the flowers, the, the pouches, and then the actual flavor that matches, it, it is really a terrific product. Mm. All right, so for this one, the minimum order quantity for these organic, uh, for these organic chrysanthemum teas is, um, is 30 units. So again, a uh, very reasonable minimum order quantity. You can actually try these and the variety of other teas if you'd like uh, to put it all together and offer them to your customers and see what works best. So we're going to move on to our last uh, tea. Oh, and this, this, Remember when I said my flavor profile, one of the biggest things that I love is sour. And here we have these uh, uh, hui da, lemon teas, right? And it essentially is, comes from these freeze-dried lemon slices. So you're about to see a full lemon slice. Not only is it delicious, but it's eye-catching. This actually it comes from the Chongqing uh, Hui Da Lemon Company, which specializes in growing and processing and the R&D of lemon. So this, this best-selling product, right? I'll show you because it's, it's just pretty remarkable. It's not, it's not a packet, it's not a sachet, which are really nice, but actually comes with 12 sachets of full lemon slices. And I, and I just wanna get in here and show you because the first time I had this, I was super surprised. I thought, what is a lemon drink? Is it a powder? Is it, is it some crushed lemons? What, what is it? And the reality is that it is a whole lemon slice. I mean, what an amazing freeze-dried lemon. And then taking this and making a drink out of it. I love lemons. I have been known to suck on lemon slices just to get that pucker. And there might be some of that happening at the end of our tasting <laughs> here. Uh, but really, when you take that smell, you can, you can see that the, the, the flavor, the essence, the fragrance, the aroma of that lemon has really been locked in. And the way that they go through this process, they actually freeze dry it at negative 40 degrees, which locks in those flavors, but then also the nutritional value, all that vitamin C, all that, that great, uh, all those great nutrients. And then once you dunk it in the water, it actually rehydrates super easily, right? So there's a lot of science behind this to preserve the natural flavors and the nutri nutrients of it. So mm. I'm going to go ahead because yeah. this so is Yeah, so fun quite fact for you, Junius, do you know what life allies means i i do not <laughs> I, I have not encountered that in my vocabulary studies rebecca so that is actually the scientific name for the process of freeze drying so that is uh, one of the things that is a hallmark for this particular product is that these lemon slices are freeze dried and then individually packaged so if you're one of those people who wants to start their day with a lemon drink it's that's super healthy and that's something that i used to do but in those days, what I would do is I'd get a lemon and i slice it up myself. And then you take one slice, put it in the hot water, drink that, and save the rest for the other days. Actually, that really takes out all of this hassle, right? I can just take an individual packet and then put it in the tea this way, rehydrate it, and then drink it directly. And it's really got that concentrated, concentrated lemon flavor. And let me tell you how eye-catching this could be. Imagine just pulling out one of these sachets dropping a full lemon wedge, lemon slice directly into your drink. And I've just had this nice sort of, you can get that, that smell, that fragrance of, of lemon, but then you get that, that sourness and that tartness. But for me personally, Rebecca knows how much I love sour and just even thinking about it, talking about it, it's making my mouth water a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and try this uh, because it's just so... Mm. So... Ooh. <laughs> so good, so good. I can attest that these are ex that these are very concentrated in terms of flavor, as you can see from Junius's expression. I love it. As well. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got a question from the audience. Do I need an import license to buy these products? Uh, the answer to this is no. You do not need an import license to buy these products. Actually, Tristana has already done the work of importing them into the countries for you, uh, including Singapore and Malaysia. So there's local stocks available for you if you would like to purchase uh, whenever you're ready. So you do not need an import license. You can go ahead and purchase directly from Tristana on wholesale.tristana.com. Terrific. All right. 
Actually, I think that brings us to the yeah, end of our program. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh, what, yeah. a, what a terrific uh, exploration of all the snacks and be beautiful dishes uh, from China that we went through today. Snacks to noodles to teas mm. and, and everything in between. Those are definitely some of my favorite things. Um, and so thank you all for having joined us today for this, uh, for our first ever virtual sourcing uh, showroom. Um, we would love to hear your feedback before you go. So um, we would really, really appreciate it if you could complete a short survey for us. The link is going to be in the Zoom chat below as well as on the screen itself. Please, we would love to hear your feedback and improve us for the next time. Uh, and if you do submit, then you will have uh, the a chance to get a Tristana wholesale gift card, uh, which you can use to purchase all the products that you saw today and more on the Tristana wholesale uh, website. Uh, so please do give us your feedback. We'd really appreciate to understand whether this was helpful for you guys. Yeah. And we're constantly expanding the range of products and offerings mm -hmm. that, that we have for you. So look out for future sessions featuring different products uh, and brands ranging from the iconic to actually some of the new products that are hitting the market that are flying off shelves as well. Yep, you heard it here first. Stay tuned for an exciting launch happening at the end of the month brought to you by Tristana. We will see you there. Thanks again for joining us and hope you all have a lovely weekend. Bye. Bye.